Hello and welcome. So, last week we finished up with the uh, Brazilian forest and securing the Dalish assistance in fighting the blight. And now we're going to head on to Benarim, uh, possibly making off a stop along the way, depending on what's on the way. It will be done. This is the largest city in Ferelden. I'm sure there won't be anything that will delay us or distract us in here. So. So, one note on little cities, they They tend to, oh, the medieval perspective on weapons, that's such that, more or less, if you have something, you're intending on using it. So if you're dressed for fighting or for war, they assume you're intending on fighting and killing people. As such, they tended to not like it when people, like, walked into a city armed for war, like, carrying weapons of war. It was expected <coughs> that you would, like, upon arrival, put those in a secure place, in some war, you know, either, you know, the city guard or a posse would, he would assemble and slightly tell you, um, hey, put those in a secure place, and so understand frequently there'd be a an inn would have a secure room that you would store your weapons and armor in. So us walking around Benarim looking like this, I mean win here might be okay. But the rest of us no, and you know, particularly given as I'm kind of obviously a great warden. It wouldn't take too kindly of that either, given as we've been declared outlaws. I didn't mention this in previous settlements because, well, Lothering, the entire army was gone and they were about to be destroyed, and Red and Cliff because they were under their attack. But Benarim is not. So I don't see any reason why the the guard would not be calling us and be like, hey, you, you need to store those somewhere. If not, be like, oh, hey, you're those guys who everyone's looking for. Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was, when? I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding with that cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there? To help rebuild, I mean, once this is all over with. I cannot say. Even if I survive this blight, I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some grey hair? You are a formidable woman, Wynne. You could see that it happens. I think you overestimate the number of years I have left. But perhaps you're right. Or perhaps the memories of what happened there will be too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have someone that believes in me, so... Now, if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. So that's... kind of an interesting thing, saying memories might be too much. But... PTSD, from... I know, has existed for as long as there have been humans, and they've experienced traumatic things. It's, I think... The old term for it was, was um, thousand yard stare, at least one old term for it. 
He's like, journals they have from kind of knights, some of them show signs of, of dealing with both PTSD. The, um, I think there's a saga of Gretir, the strong, which also shows signs of PTSD. There might be some also old accounts from ancient Greece that have more or less people suffering symptoms that sound like PTSD. So, possibility that Wynne might not be able to deal with the things that she saw in the circle, mm. entirely possible. I think ancient Greece actually understood those to be injuries is like on par with getting stabbed. Anyway. Hi. Good day. Well, I have nothing to say to you. Hmm. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. I was getting to that part. Pumpkins. Hello, Rosamund. And after much sweat, blood and toil, her labors ended, and the world marveled at what she wrought. We have here back to high justice. Okay. Hmm. You know, I was just talking about. PTSD, it says, recently our hearts were filled, lifted when many survivors of the battle of Ostagar returned to us. Make her bless these men and women and have mercy upon those who de fell defending our children from blight. Sadly, one of these heroes has gone missing. Rexel served in Terran Logan's vanguard with distinction. Though, Terran Logan ordered his forces to retreat, unless he was part of the forces that were in the tower. Upon his return, his wife said he was prone to quiet reflection and frequented local taverns, well, frequently local taverns is kind of standard as I understand from the old period, probably prior to that. Mm. One afternoon he left his home and never returned. The chanter was moved by the family's grief, is offering a pouch of coin to anyone who finds this hero, the chant says, saving one man you save us all, for if each of us lends a hand to help aid his neighbor, anything is possible. Let's push. Resist whose word has arrived with imminent conflict to the game's honored forces continue to root out threats to our nation. And their actions deserve support from the common people. While it is unusual to post troop movements to develop boards, I believe it is necessary. Brethren, you have the effect area to respect the honored Terran by aiding his troops. Provide whatever comfort you feel deserve, and Freldin will be stronger for it. With these brave soldiers that he would treat Logan himself. That spiritual words. Generous. Feels kind of weird accepting that, but alright. of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings, those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his children are breaded and cursed by the maker. Those who bring ham? And the maker does not bread sinners. Oh, would you stop correcting me? I know the chant like the back of my hand. The one who repents, 
who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world and roasts not nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak but takes delight in the maker's law and creation boasts it's boasts sister not roasts she shall know the pleas of the maker's benediction the light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next peace sister peace she shall know the peace of the maker's benediction the view holds no uncertainty for her and she will know no fear of death for the maker shall be her bacon and her shield her foundation and her there's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> I like her version of the chant better. Actually, I probably don't know the chant. <laughs> Maybe I should come back later. <laughs> It's nearly meal time, but I have a few minutes I can spare. What can I do for you? What are you doing? Praying for the good people of Denerin who've lost loved ones at Ostergard. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said. Can you tell me about the chant? Tell you about the chart? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? What was the verse you're reciting just now? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. He sang it well, I think? He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. What happened to him? It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. He died? He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the charge one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. Does the chant mention... Uh, what does the chant say about Darkspawn? Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin. Pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinter, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the Golden City, heart of all creation, to take the Maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during Chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the Chant of Light, not the Speech of Light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. Yeah, there is one thing that... quite interesting is that the, uh... Their religious institution is supposed to be all about singing. And yeah, I mean, our religious institutions are frequently all about singing as well. They seem to have it more central, but games largely don't have much in the way of songs for them. So I suppose that would take, you know, paying, paying, paying you know, songwriters do that for effectively what is just flavor. Does the chant mention dwarves? Why would it? 
Sister, that's hardly appropriate. There's no need to be rude to anyone, even if they are ignorant and godless. Thank you. I'm not ignorant and godless. Of course not, dear. You just don't know anything about the chant, and you don't have any gods. <laughs> so I guess I am ignorant and godless. Never mind. Now where's the fun in belonging to the Chantry if you can't proselytize to the heathens a bit? Um, uh, blessings of the Maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. Okay. Let's see. You, sir, do you know you have a glowing exclamation mark on over your head? I mean, hell, there's questions whether or not I even know what that symbol is. Yours might have an entirely different writing system, and that particular symbol might not have actually been created by whatever approximate um, period in history this would be. Anyway, Slim Kuldry. Kuldry? I don't know. Hello there, Warden. I'm a friend. I've heard putting up the good fight against Loghain and Hal, right? Good for you. Make a spit on all those arrogant noble bastards. I've also heard you have certain skills. Skills of the street, you might say. No judgments here, mate. I want to help you. Hmm. Arrogant nobles. Well, uh, that's you. At least you don't like arrogant nobles as opposed to, like, you know, potentially arrogant royalty. How do you know I'm a warden? Your likeness has been shown to some of the guards. Managed to get a peek at it myself. The name is Slim Cauldry, and if you've heard of me, I've been doing a sad job of it, haven't I? I hear a great many things, and for those who view certain pesky laws as mere nuisances, there's some ripe fruit to be plucked out there. I can point the way. All I ask is for a little slice for myself. And what will you do with your cut? My share goes to a good cause. The poor. My family. I've got 15 cousins. 15! Can you imagine? My uncle must walk around with a permanent bulge. It's disturbing, that is. Yeah, that is a little bit disturbing, but... Also, thinking, like, I got the impression that... Middle Ages, possibly ancient, also had a little bit less of hang-ups about talking about that stuff. Tell me more. I'm interested. I mean, I might have more concern about... about ...maintaining the image of the Grey Wardens that not do this sort of stuff, but... Well, one of my mates noticed your skills. Nice piece of work, that uncommon caliber, if you don't mind me saying. But I need to know what else you can do. Ever done bump and grabs? Do much blending in shadows? Different opportunities for different folk, you know. Still have covered, but I don't pick pockets. More of a second story, man, eh? So was I back in the day. A thrill of a hunt. Dodging guards, in and out, no one the wiser. Ah, oh, the good life. Now that we have that settled, just ask away. One point. I don't like blood much. Call me old-fashioned, but the maker says thou shalt not strangle, decapitate or whatnot unless the other fella really had it coming, eh? I realise sometimes you do what you have to, but restraint, right? So, what are you interested in? Know of any good places to break in? I've got a place for you. Should be easy money for you. It'll cost one sovereign, though. Tell me the details. Lady Sophie is an intimate of Al Hal. Real intimate. She's visiting the country, because that's what rich folk do when the whole bloody kingdom's in danger. Sorry, they just get me so angry. <clears throat> her room in the Nord Noble Tavern is unattended. That means her valuables are just there for the taking. You've got the tavern staff to worry about, plus she has hired a guard. A very overworked, tired, and bored guard, though. Just be careful, and you should be fine. Good luck. Thank you. I'll 
deal with that later. Good to see you again. As you say. Report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? I can ask how he knows who I am, but then again, Stephen Colton just told me. Your likeness was passed around to the senior guardsmen at the palace. I must say, the sketch didn't do you much justice. Don't worry, even if I believe the official story of what happened at Ostagar, I'm no fool. If I asked my men to apprehend you, they'd all run and cry big sobby tears in their courtesans' bosoms and leave me all alone to be skewered. Don't disturb the peace in the market, and that's well enough for me. Is the market district really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Arl Howe in charge. So, when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their lords such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. How are they worse? Bastards, I just have to worry about Dyson, the odd bit of drool, or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings, and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. Actually, do you need any help? <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular... Uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, maker forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. Yeah, but much as, you know, most of the time, city guards probably only deal with criminals. Well, I mean, admittedly, they probably might be more likely to actually fight, because I think sentencing tended to be worse, but Yeah, during times of war, city guards fought to defend the place. What do you need me to do? The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear. Not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Sign me up, Sergeant. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Wade's Emporium. Aren't you chilly, Sten? Chilly? I don't know this word. It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Don't you feel cold? I suppose. I don't imagine we can find a cloak in your size, can we? Hmm. What? Nothing, nothing. Don't mind me. Now I wonder where I could get a skein of good wool yarn. Didn't I have... 
did I already give that? I think I already gave that to someone. Doctor. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Me about Wade. You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the finest armors around. These piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it drop. Smiths of my people pass work over generations, centuries. Centuries? You hear that, you young mutt? Centuries? What's an extra year here and there to make something wonderful? Thank you, Dwarf. Your fine point has made my life so much richer. Could you tell me about the city? The city is full to bursting. With people from the country coming, trade is thriving. Especially those that deal in weapons and armor. Master Wade is especially in demand. Let's see what you have for sale. Certainly. I think, yeah, I recently sold a bunch of stuff, so I don't really need to do anything more. Let's see if you have anything. You directly? Torin, the bloody customers are bothering me again. What do I pay you for, anyhow? Sorry, sorry. Wade is a genius. Truly, you will be astonished by his work. Uh, but he doesn't deal with customers. If you need anything, please ask me. And tell him I don't want anyone looking over my shoulders either. I'm thinking, blast it all. Uh, truly sorry, sire. I guess there's one note right here. I'm not really sure what the actual period. Um, Smithies looked like. I'm not sure they would have had three separate fires going. But I feel like you could probably have gotten away with just one. Um, the other thing is, they're aware of the dangers that fire presented in a city that was probably mostly built of wood and as such, any place that would need wood, wood or have fires going, is likely to be put away from other cities, away from other buildings. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Okay, so, one note, my understanding of how you generally found things and people you were, like, before the age of, age of you know, street signs and house numbers is you would ask people around where so-and-so was, or where such-and-such -such was, if it wasn't, like, you know, a major landmark that you could see for miles. Yeah, 
Yes, let's do that. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. You have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, how we'd know your name is... It wouldn't be that usual. But... Are you sure your information is correct, Alistair? Yes, I think so. I'm sure of it, in fact. Look. Our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <clears throat> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. That's hardly Elisha's fault, is it? And who in the Maker's name are you? Some dwarf carrying all his riches, I expect? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, then, uh, Elster here is hoping to find his family. Well? So he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But, brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well... That was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. 
Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. Well, I mean, from our perspective, you're just a random person, pretty much. And I suppose better than feeling like an incomplete idiot. Sam, sorry it turned out like this. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Anything here. I once got pickpocketed. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. I have something you might be interested in. I doubt that. Hmm. Yes, you're right. This is very interesting. I'll take this note from you and I'll confiscate this lyrium as evidence. You have done a great thing here, friend. Those rogue mages days are numbered. Dwarven crafts, direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Dwarven? Dwarven crafts, fine dwarven. My lord, my lord Dukin? Is that really you? I knew you survived. I never stopped believing it. And neither did your father. Before I left for the surface, King Endrin sent for me. It was almost more than I could endure, seeing him so. As if he were long dead and rotten, and now merely an empty husk collapsing in on itself. He could not even rise from his bed, and the room stank of decay. He asked me to give you the shield of Idukin, and with this letter... Did you say anything else? He barely spoke at all. Every word seemed as if it had traveled the entire length of the deep roads. Find my son. No other deserves this. It was all that he said. His eyes have haunted me since. If it were possible for a man to die of regret, I think King Endra did. But <laughs> we shouldn't dwell on the past. I can hardly tell you how good it is to see you alive. I can't believe I found you here of all places. I am far happier in my exile than I ever expected to be. So you're a merchant now? I was injured in my travels here. My leg healed crooked and I will never fight again. And I have a new life now. I married into a surface family. My wife is lovely and her father is the best smith in Denerim. We're uh, expecting our firstborn before the spring. Weird, I don't, didn't feel like it had been that long since I'd come up here, I didn't think it was. But anyway, I mean, I guess things go quickly. Well, when can I meet the lucky girl? I would love to introduce you, but you must have more important business than hearing about me. Have a look at my father-in-law's crafts. All fine work, and I'll cut you a discount. So I'm 
Oops. Still gonna release. Yes, backpack. Let's check out this shield. I can't use it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna need to increase my strength. Mm. Anything more I can talk to you guys about? You do your father proud, my lord. Ancestors, watch over you, Corum. Oh, there's nothing more to say. I recognize you from Ostagar and Traste's blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend and good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. I probably understand exactly what he's talking about here, and I don't really feel like lying about that. But the charges against the wardens are false. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Loghain's word? Deny that he is has any honor. Use your wits. The wardens would never help the darkspawn. I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. I may regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. Okay. Lord Noble. That looks like mages. Interesting. This is where the nobility comes to get drunk and decide who is the most self-important of them all. Good times. What can I get you, stranger? Have you heard any rumors? Queen Honora issued a plea to the Venorn to stand down lest there be a repeat of the winter's breath elsewhere. I don't think they're listening, though. Many of them think Honora isn't even the one really speaking. They say the Queen does what her father tells her. Can't say I blame them. Anything else you need? Anyone need help? With something it was not strictly legal? of deaths. The captain sends his regards. Make his blessings upon you, warden. I'm a crimson ore. Which way you look it or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull. Another round for me, men. My ship's nearly over. Thank God, Traste. You know about him and Morrigan, right? You've heard? 
I think I know what you are talking about, yes. And do you agree with it? You don't think that it's dangerous? Dangerous for whom? Her or him? Anyone. She's Malefica and rotten to the core. How could he even... Ah, oh, this can't be a good idea. She can't be a good influence on him. I will admit that the thought did cross my mind several times. But look at it another way. Perhaps he will be a good influence on her. You know, you are just too understanding about stuff like this. Can't you be more judgmental? I'm trying to rant here. Oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead and rant, dear. And I'll just nod my head if you like. Chest. Hmm. Can I close this? I can. Look. Yes, stop in the middle of breaking into a room to read a book. Perfectly logical. Houses. This so you have like a centralized place where everyone can bathe. And, or I think the other thing they might have or that they had was um barrel baths where basically you'd bathe in a barrel. So much this sort of stone thing. That's The other way, but anyway. It will be done. Yes, guys, follow me, please. Warehouse. Interesting. I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. Sure, of course. Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns out. Hmm. Looks like there's a back room there that I can't get to. Anyway. 
Mr. Thetis shop. The skull over it. Yes, make it quick. I have a note here from your master. Strange. Let's see this. I knew it. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> seven weeks? Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Browse his wares. Of course. I a spider. So this is the reason we're here, we're trying to find this guy. And who are you? Leland. Yes? What are you doing here? Brother Genitivi, I presume? No. No, I am Waylon, Brother Genitivi's assistant. When you first came in, I was... was hoping that you had news of Brother Genitivi. Wishful thinking, it seems. Has something happened to Brother Genitivi? I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He sent no word. It's so unlike him. I am afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Why would searching for the urn lead him into danger? Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. How do you know they have disappeared? Well, they haven't returned, and they sent no word either. Are you close to the knights? Would they send you word? I, I, I don't know. After what happened to Genitivi, can you blame me for thinking the same thing could happen to the knights? Perhaps I am just a pessimist. I hope I am wrong. So where did they go? Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. I am willing to risk it. Tell me where he went. <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. What exactly was he investigating? I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. But you said that he spoke to you and told you that. 
Yes, of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. And I suppose you... You sound nervous. Hiding something? That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Jimmy TV told us, t told me about the inn and that's all. Us? Who's us? Us? I mean me. There is no us. Bah! Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Jenny TV and Yearn, but you persisted. Now it has come to this. And just they forgive me, I do this in your name. <laughs> See precisely the reason why a city is don't like like people being well armed in them. Very well. Dragon cults. I wonder if that has anything to do with what's going on here. A body? Body of the real whale. The plot thickens. And I guess we have to go all the way across Ferelden again to find Jenna TV By order of the new Earl of Denerim, no one is to enter the alien. Carl wants to keep people out, does he? There's been an elven uprising. No, I fear he's even have the gall to attack the Arl's only son. Killed him in cold blood. With a whole Urian family dead, the regent appointed Rendon Howe of Amaranthine, the new Arl of Denerim. First thing he did was lead a purge of the alien age. It's a mess in there. When things are put back in order, the gates will be reopened. Now on your way. All right, then. Yes. I wasn't trying to talk to you. As you wish. Very well. Don't believe lies. Friends of Grey Wardens assemble. The hidden pearl holds the key to resistance. The griffins will rise again. Griffins are actually all dead since several hundred years ago at the end of the fourth flight. But anyway. He said that the Darkspawn attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn took Lothering, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. They came at me! It's not my fault! Why do you come at me? It will yeah. be done. They got to learn not to mess with me. Us, right? I mean, he's he's just going to disappear, right? I mean Yeah, relatively easy for people to just disappear. Or, like easier to disappear given his forensic techniques were not as good. But um 
dump site into a well. Yes, let's poison the city's water supply with corpses. Great idea. are flying about the break-in at the Nord Noble Tavern, and for some odd reason, no one feels too sorry for that milk cow, Lady Sophie. Ha! Are you interested in more? Don't be a good place to break in? I have a big opportunity for you. Four sovereigns. This better be worth it. Arl Howe uses a warehouse in the Market District from time to time. Word is, the Arl's been dipping into the city's treasury and discreetly moving silver bars to his estate in High Ever. There's a fortune in that warehouse right now, and if you succeed here, Arl Howe gets a big black eye. But guards will be everywhere. Not those half-assed dock guardsmen either. Generally, I'm opposed to killing, but these are the Arl's hand-picked hatchet men, and stealth's not really an option. So, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Just remember, there's this little patch here that I haven't actually done anything with. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. Where are you from? I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? This Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Valroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Tell me about Valroyo. What I miss most are the clothes. The avenue of flowers this time of year has so many colors. And the skirts. Fine wools, clothes. Many only the nobleborn can afford. Ferelden is more muted. Its fashion's quite old. But I like the people of this city very much. Why did you leave? Orlais has many, many good things. But it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier and we departed shortly after. What's a chevalier? You know so little of Orlais here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. What's our trouble to get in? A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. Hmm. Those beasts are allowed to break them? That and more. Some reveal them for their skill and their high service. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch light-headed. It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? Or perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? What's there to see in the market? Much of this city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. 
coming up here. It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? Or perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? I want something more practical. And smelling good is not? Ferelden is no longer full of barbarians. People judge with their noses as well as their ears and eyes. But you look more... armed than most of my patrons. Perhaps you seek the arm of Smith Wade, then to the south? He is quite the artiste, yes? I have to go. So you don't actually have anything to sell me. Pay the apprentice. What is it? I have work to do. I have a note here from your master. What does it say? Ah, I knew this would happen. Just when I was starting to get good. Well, thanks. I guess. I suppose I should probably, you know, save before I do things that are potentially. Hmm, I can't unlock that. Can't unlock that. your dwarf in poetry, you'd think I'd be more aware of, more familiar with that than, you know, anyone on the surface, but. It's so nice to be in civilization. You can't buy all lesion silks anywhere in South Reach. If you have coin, welcome to our shop. If not, move along. Too many refugees blocking customers. I'm not a refugee. I didn't think so, sir. Too much flesh on the bones. <laughs> you walk tall, proud, not hunched. Sad times in Ferelden. Anything special about dinner? Better trade cities to the north, but plenty good trade here. Now with war and blight, Business is bad. Have anything for sale? Oh, yes. Hmm. Stuff for sale, I mean, nothing I actually want. Another visitor, the Maestro. Enjoy browsing my wares. What? Who are you? Master Trader Ignacio, at your service, good sir. My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle other affairs. You are Trump for Elden, are you? No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiba. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. What do you mean? On the docks of Rialto, life is cheap. As cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled horse. You can live a longer life out here, and a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time. With the blight, Ferelden isn't exactly safe either. Straightforward, predictable danger is refreshing to me. Any moment in Rialto, the streets can run red, and often do. I take dark spawn any day. At least you can see them coming. Do you get any help? Um, no. Not yet. Perhaps one day. What story do you have in Antiva? It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, 
is a better mistress than my home city ever was. Farewell. Luck be to you, warden. The kid is, oh, wow, that's great running animation there. Yes. I have a letter for you from the Blackstone regulars. All right, let me take a look. I feared this day would come. Okay. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven craft. Warehouse. There's crack here. Door opens crack. In response to your knock, there's light breeze, changing pressure. The small painted books. Dark shadow nods. A pouch of coin appears in exchange. The door closes. Thank <laughs> you. 
as you say. Very well. Yes. Still a possibility of getting into the back room. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Um. Is that not considered done? Warden, they're turning the market upside down to find the burglar who bested all hell. <laughs> but no one's the wiser. I'm going to work hard to find something worthy of your talent. You need anything else? No way, person, reckon. I'm following up a lead in the palace district. I know you can't get in now, but you never know. If it all works out, it'll make you a legend. All right. Cool. That appears to be <coughs> the end of what I can do for now in this area, I think. Let's see. Dwarf, you do your father proud, my lord. May I see your wares? Certainly. You do me great honor, my lord. I'm not a lord anymore, but, you know. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Message for you, my lord. What? More things to deliver. Goodbye. Okay. I wasn't anticipating... Still doing anything. Hello. You hear about a note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. You are of great interest to me. So you're the ones trying to kill me? Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So. One of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do their job or die trying. But the crows as a whole have no bias. But you were hired to kill me. I can't stress enough that I wasn't hired to do anything. An associate was, and he's failed, and failed badly. A client can always hire more help. 
if the job isn't done the first time. But I am hoping we can make sure that doesn't happen. How can I trust you? A man's word is vital in any profession, especially a delicate. So, honor amongst thieves? Something like that. I'm listening. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. Go on. It takes time to do a good job pride in your work and all, but customers have expectations. Not many people to turn to if you're short-staffed in some lines of work. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived, well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. How does this work, then? I hand you a scroll. Do you read it? You learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. You don't like what's on the scroll? Don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. If I do this, I want no more crows after me. That I cannot do. One master has a contract on you. But if you help us out, maybe if that master asks for help, he'll just get silence. Yes? Hand me the scroll. There you go. Makes for fine reading. If that's all, luck be to you. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. This is where I will call it for the week. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do any relevant things with YouTube's buttons, and have a nice day.